Well, here at ABC7, part of our mission is to help build a better Bay Area, and that includes bringing you stories about changes in our climate and environment. San Francisco Bay is about to become cleaner, but the improvement will come with a price tag. Yeah, it's uh, one you may eventually notice on your monthly water and sewer bill, but still, engineers and environmental advocates insist the investment will be worth it. ABC7 Spencer Christian has the details. When destructive algae blooms kill fish and other wildlife in San Francisco Bay, few of us might realize we're contributing to the problem. At least our bathrooms are. But that link from Bay Area homes to the bay is about to get an upgrade. Newly announced regulations will affect roughly three dozen wastewater treatment plants that circle the bay. The goal, in part, is to limit the release of algae-feeding byproducts like nitrogen. Eileen White directs the State Water Board for the San Francisco Bay Region. And so the purpose of this permit is to reduce the nutrient loads in San Francisco Bay. So as we have more harmful algae blooms in the future with climate change, they won't be able to propagate across the bay like we saw in 2022, result in massive fish kills. The price tag is expected to be in the neighborhood of $11 billion. I would say it's probably the biggest decision our board will have ever made. It's the most consequential decision because there's so much at stake here. And it's probably the biggest decision since the Clean Water Act was enacted in the 1970s. But some treatment plants have already begun construction. We recently toured Palo Alto's facility, which is in the middle of an infrastructure build-out. Assistant Director Karin North says the work includes nearly $200 million in upgrades to filter out nutrients. So I think for infrastructure improvements, we're probably right in the middle. In terms of nutrient reduction projects, we're closer to more on the leading edge. And that's because we looked at aging infrastructure and it made sense to upgrade earlier for nutrient reduction. The upgrades could also include environmental innovations like horizontal levees that could help purify wastewater and help protect the treatment plants from predicted sea level rise. And while the overall investment is significant, backers believe the upgrades will help ensure the health of San Francisco Bay for future generations. And we've always been forward thinking and try and look at things holistically. So we don't want to just look at one problem and solve that problem. We want to see, is it going to cause any other benefit? Because any, we all, we're always looking for multi-benefit projects. In San Francisco, Spencer Christian, ABC7 News.